tornado emergency is now being issued for the downtown city of Mobile by the National Weather Service. Uh, there is confirmation that there is a large tornado moving into the Mobile metro area. We got to work uh, tonight and took a look at some of the model data. It looked like a line of storms would develop with uh, potentially supercells ahead of it and then move across from Texas, the Houston area, over to uh, Jackson, Mississippi, and southern Alabama. So wanted to have uh, an enhanced threat area for the western and central Gulf Coast. It's going to affect a lot of people. If it's going to be an outbreak or not, that's still questionable but it certainly looks like it has a potential to at least be a severe weather outbreak, potentially with the tornadoes. As we're working on our forecast tonight, we have the awareness and concern that tomorrow is Christmas Day. We know that people will likely be spending time with families not in their normal routine, and we do have concerns whether they'll receive the message the same about the severe weather potential and the possibility of strong tornadoes. We're always in a constant state of refinement in terms of our convective outlooks, and we need to constantly not only adjust the risk level, but where those are spatially located. And so it looks like we need to shift the risk a bit farther south and west based on some of the latest information. We're looking at things such as satellite, so we can follow upper level systems and their movements. We're also looking at upper air balloon information. We're looking at how moist the, the atmosphere is in the low levels, also what the temperatures are aloft and how strong the winds are and how things may change over the next 24 hours. Well, we've had an active day of severe weather across the, the Delta region of the south. We've just issued a PDS tornado watch, which is a particularly dangerous situation. It involves an enhanced risk of strong to violent tornadoes over parts of southeastern Louisiana, central southern Mississippi, and uh, southwestern Alabama, including Mobile. Now that the watch is out, local offices are going to be issuing severe thunderstorm and tornado warnings with increasing frequency across the watch area. A tornado emergency is now being issued for the downtown city of Mobile by the National Weather Service. Uh, there is confirmation that there is a large tornado moving into the Mobile metro area. All forecasts are challenging. All forecasts provide uncertainty to the forecaster. If you watch uh, the evolution of the forecast starting at four days before Christmas and you look at the day four outlook and then the day three and the day two and ultimately the day one outlook, you see the refinement of those forecasts over time and the focusing of the greatest threat across eastern Louisiana, western Mississippi, which is also the area in which the particularly dangerous situation, Tornado Watch, was issued. And so that's an ideal scenario where you want to highlight that threat early on, indicate the high certainty that the forecasters have in the potential for tornadoes and ultimately that resulting in a tornado watch right where you would expect it. What we've illustrated with this Christmas Day 2012 tornado event is a scientific process that's applied regularly here at the Storm Prediction Center to anticipate dangerous tornado events with as much lead time as possible for anywhere in the country. 